Pitch Me, Technopole Startup Incubator, empowering founders as well as Pitch Me podcasts. Welcome to the show, Annette. Pitch Me. Hello. As said, I am Annette, and I am the founder of AudioCat, where we let the fun be heard. In the world, there are about 285 million visually impaired people. And nowadays, even more, we talk about accessibility because we want no one to be left out. But mostly that is what we do. We talk. The world is not actually very accessible for the disabled people. And the same goes to the world of gaming. When we talk about visually impaired people, they can only experience 7% of the video games that sighted people can enjoy. This is where AudioCat comes in. We are developing an accessible mobile application for audio games. Audio games focus solely on audio and visuals can form in the player's imagination. One can think of audio games like audiobooks, but with interactions. Right now we have two different audio games that we are testing with 60 visually impaired people around the world. And we are creating an inclusive and diverse community for them. 20 of them have actually given us feedback, which has been very positive and they cannot wait for different genres of audio games. The potential market that we are aiming for is around 73 million vision impaired people. We have also tested our application on 29 sighted people and the feedback we received was extremely positive. AudioCat will have a premium business model with a starting price of 7.99 euros monthly. And that means the player gets to access all the amazing audio games AudioCat has to offer. AudioCat's audio games will include fan fictions and also audio game versions of already existing video games. We plan to expand our audio games library to 10 audio games over the next six months. We are a team of young, two ambitious gamers. We both have software engineering education and competed successfully in many IT-rated competitions. We also have game design and development experience from competitions. We have completed the Starter Tartu program and competed in Kaleidoscope. We have won Delia Idea competition and Creative Industries Pitch competition and Startup Day 2023 with two special prizes. We also made it to our top 40 this year. At the moment, we are actively fundraising and we are looking for 350,000 euros for further development and to accelerate growth over the next 12 months. If you want to learn even more about AudioCat, then you can see us on the stage at Startup Day 2024. I am Annette from AudioCat, where having fun does not require sight. Thanks, Annette. Uh, Tell me, how did you guys come up with the problem? Well, uh, actually, we started as game developers. And we went to TEDx Tartu last year. And then we heard a very amazing woman, Pirata, was talking about accessibility. And I had a question right on my mind. How do blind people play? And I went to her with that question and she gave me contact information to Jakob Rosin, who is the leader of Blind Association in Estonia. And there with everything started and we came up with the idea audio games because we understand in the end that the audio game, like, Video games are not accessible as they should be, but audio games are the solution for that. It's really hard to imagine the the difference between, I mean, how do you take the games which are visual by design? How Mm -hmm. How do you take them to audio? How much do you lose or do you lose? Well... I wouldn't say we lose much because uh, what we use right now is explanatory description. Every like visuals can form in the player's imagination. And that's what we want to do. This world right now that we're living in is so visual. Social media, YouTube, Netflix, even when we go out of our home, we need visuals to like uh, guide us through. But we want to take it away so people will actually use their hearing senses and try to use some, some other senses other than just vision, because that's what we do every day. And that's what we depend on so much. Mm. Uh, how big is the market? Uh, well, uh, for us, uh, the potential market is 110 million visually impaired people who would play. We aim to uh, target uh, two thirds of them to be our potential clients. But the uh, the language uh, is probably a limiting factor. You need it in every single language of the world, right? Not actually. Many of them do speak English. So we are aiming uh, the English market uh, mm-hmm. because uh, that's the easiest for us. But in the end, we do want different languages, audio games to be in. 
but uh, it's gonna be a future topic from now. Mm. 110 million number, that's for the English-speaking uh, visually impaired people, yes. right? Okay. Uh, what's the what's the next logical language? I mean, I'm sure you're launching in Estonian, but, uh, but that's not the market, right? Uh, we have one game in Estonian and one in English, actually, because uh, we will go full-on English. Uh, as we understood from test group, we had uh, 10 Estonian blind people who registered. Uh, most of them do speak English, actually. So it's no problem for us. But the uh, next logical language would be some uh, bigger European language like uh, Spanish or French or something like that, because uh, we aim uh, the European market first. Mm. The uh, For the people who have not played an audio game, what's the kind of the most easier description? Is it more like the taking text-based uh, games into the audio of, or...? It's like, as I said, it's simpler to explain it as it's like audiobook, but with interactions. You have audio, then there comes interactions and the story uh, continues based on what uh, choice did you make or like did you fail or succeeded with the interaction. So, OK, it's it's a bit like a new form of literature, maybe. You could say that, but uh, since we are implementing many features of the video games, like interactions and uh, different kind of interactions, then it's it goes more of a gaming world. But it's uh, easier to say to people it's kind of like audiobooks because we we all know what audiobook is. Mm. The the next big milestone for you guys, the raising the funding round, or is there anything else big upcoming? Well, right now it's definitely raising the funds and uh, finishing the testing because uh, every day we have new people registering. We are uh, uh, searching for new people all around the world. Most of our testers are international, they're not Estonians. And every day some people come and we need to keep in contact with them, send their emails, ask for their feedback. So we hope that during the October we can also finish the testing and then have the whole feedback so we can continue developing based on what was the feedback. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank you.